So I'm currently heading back from the gun range. I didn't plan on recording today, which is why I'm on my phone currently, but on the way out of the range, I spotted what looks to be a Uni Black Mark IV Jetta, and I think it's abandoned. And I'm actually pulling it right now, so I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe it's for sale. I would love to get a non-rusted fender for this car, um, but they're very hard to find out here. So this might be something. We'll see here in a second. The car is just kind of sitting over here. There's no front plate on it. We're like on the side of a truck stop and there's just like stuff everywhere, but it looks like it's uni black. Holy crap. Is it uni black? It looks to be uni black, bit of a clear bra on it, but there's not a speck, maybe a little dent here they kind of caught the fender but i don't see a speck of rust which is kind of a miracle for mark four look at my driver's side fender you can see we got some rust right here and then down at the bottom so i desperately need a new fender i mean it's not terrible but i would like a new one and this is just kind of sitting out here and it's a tdi it's kind of cool Definitely uni black, no plates on it, so I'm assuming it's abandoned, or I don't know whose car this is. Looks like it has, or had, tan leather interior. It's kind of destroyed. Looks like it's been here for a hot minute. The hood is just, look, that's down to bare metal right there. Peeling away, but somehow the driver's side fender is in perfect shape. I don't know who I talked to about this, but I would love to have, I mean, if it runs as a TDI, that'd be cool, but look at that, two good fenders? I don't need a passenger one, but I'll take it. If it's two good fenders, I'll take it. All right, well, watch look at this. You can see, window's kind of down. Manual. Oh, it needs some work. Some DCs in there. I mean, this could be an TDI, five-speed Jetta would be dope. I have no idea condition of this car. I just know I kind of want that fender. I'll see if anyone knows anything about it. And maybe, uh, man, I have my tools with me. Maybe we can uh, snatch it. Oh, no way. I missed this. There's a big old dent in the front. That's no good. I mean, it's not terrible, but still, it's a big old dent in the front. Dang it. I knew it would be too good to be true. Oh, well. Well, I still might try and see if I can find the owner and maybe they want to sell some parts. Who knows? Also, the front of the Jetta is completely destroyed. Uh, on Tuesday, we did a about 700-mile round trip to pick up a very cool surprise you guys will see probably pretty soon. Um, but this is the aftermath. Just absolutely destroyed the windshield was just as bad but i had to clean it off so i can see a little bit but you can see the hood i mean it's trashed i gotta find a car wash so i went around asked all the businesses right here there's two shops that they don't know anything about these cars they're all just like abandoned and been sitting here for a very long time talked about the gas station same story all the cars the trucks i've been sitting here for the longest time somebody still owns them but um they're basically abandoned. I would love to have some parts off this Jetta, but it would be just my luck that this car has been here for probably 10 years. The second I touch this car, the owner will pull up and be like, hey, don't touch my stuff. I'm gonna fix it one day, something like that. So I'll leave it alone. Maybe I'll get lucky and somebody knows whose car this is. Cause I mean, the fender has some scratches on it and that dent in the front, but there's no rush. So fixing a dent um, and then some new paint on it. I can just buy a new fender. I really don't need this fender, honestly. I was hoping just to get lucky and find just a random, perfect uni black fender. But aside from the fender, the car does have some nice parts on it that I like to have, but no owner, and uh, I don't want to just steal some people's car. So I guess she'll just sit right there. I actually just saw this. This is a Minot 30 day registration, and this is from 2020. So the car's been here like two and a half years and hasn't moved or it was registered last in 2020 and then at some point it got parked here. So I guess this is where she'll die. It's a shame because this is a TDI, which is sick, but such a shame, man. 
TDI five speed, someone just let die out here. Such a shame. If anyone wants a Jetta, it's sitting right over there. So like I said, I really didn't have any plans to make a video today. Um, it was just kind of a gun range and then I wanted to wash the car, but I wanted to find a self-service car wash because the bugs in front of this car are plastered on there and I really need a pressure washer to blast them off. I could probably do it at home, but well, one thing about washing the car at home that kind of sucks, the water here has tons of minerals in it. So every time I wash the car, after I wash, I can't just dry it and be done. I have to go through with like a detailer or wax and pull off the light water spots. It's kind of annoying, but I want to find a self-service car wash, but I don't, I haven't seen one here yet. They're all like the automated ones and I don't want to do that. But I'm gonna stop out AutoZone right now and just some kind of a uh, bright paint colors I have because I want to paint the calipers and the facade, but I still, I think I'm down to like light gold or dark gray, but we'll see what AutoZone has. That might determine what color the calipers go. Because I didn't plan making a video today, but since we're kind of already starting, I will find something to do. What do we got for colors? So they've got this kind of light copper gold color and then also this gray which i don't know this gray is kind of cool i wish this was more like gold gold it's more like kind of bronzy but i think i'm leaning towards uh this gray pretty cool yeah i think uh this with the blue looks super nice only issue is they've only got one can but i think one can should be enough to do all four calipers I think. All right, so we got our paint. It's kind of like a matte metallic charcoal gray, but I think this color with the blue of the Passat should be a nice color combo. Little OEM plus action. I thought about gold, I thought about blue, I thought about yellow, but I mean, ultimately AutoZone have this color in stock, so I went with this, but I think the gray will look super well. Now, before we get home and start painting the calipers on the Passat, I just want to say this. The Passat is the winner beater. It's the good enough. Like, it'll look good, but I'm not going to go above and beyond to spend all my time, you know, trying to make it look fancy and all that kind of stuff. So with that being said, I'm not taking the calipers off. I'm not tearing them down to paint them. We're going to paint them on the car. I'll pull the wheel off. We're going to paint them on the car. I'm going to tape around it and it'll be fine. You're only going to see the front section anyways. A little bit overspray. Not going to kill anybody. If it gets on the rotor a little bit, it'll just burn off as I brake not a big deal so again the Passat is the good enough car it'll look good but i'm not gonna you know i'm not pulling calipers off tearing them down way too much work and it's really not needed for this so for anyone who's new to the channel this right here is the winter beater 04 Passat glx 4 motion honestly not a bad car super cool color we put a lot of work into it so far and really it's ready to go as it currently sits but I'm being picky and I can't leave things alone and I really don't like how crappy the calipers look. So that's our current situation and this is how we'll be looking afterwards. A nice OEM plus and again, that gray next to that blue, super nice color combo. And then same thing going on in the rear, just some oxidation, they just look old. So a nice fresh coat of paint, make them look much better. Now, originally I did not plan on actually spray painting the calipers on the Passat. I wanted to order the kit where you mix the paint and brush it on because it's much easier and it drives really nice, but no one in town has those kits in stock and the kits online, all the colors they had were like bright red, yellow, orange, which yellow could look good on this car for sure, um, but it's just an OEM plus kind of thing. So I think the gray fits that look much better, but it would have been nice to have the brush on kit because it's just so easy to use. Seeing this car like this makes me so sad. The wagon was so clean and now it's just like completely destroyed. We'll get you fixed up, don't worry. GTI rolling in. Sounding good as ever, wow. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir, I want that. I want that, please. All right, so here is what we're working with in the back. Caliper is not in terrible shape, but Fresh coat of paint will make it look a million times better. I'm gonna tape off this area back here. I'm a little concerned about painting the top section you're gonna see. So the front area through here and then the top section, all we're gonna paint, I'll tape off this boot, tape off that boot, tape off the front side of the, um, the pad here and some of the rotor, and then we'll just 
spray away. All right, so for the most part, everything that we don't want paint on is covered up or taped off like inside there and on the backs over there. There will still be some paint that gets like, between this crack here onto the rotor and a little bit inside of here. Not gonna affect anything, not a big deal, and majority of it will just burn it off. So now I'm gonna get a wire brush, cleans up just a little bit, and we can start painting. All right, so we've got the caliper as clean as gonna get. Again, this is just a good enough kind of thing. Normally I go through, have all the sandblasted, but it's not that serious. So we'll get a nice little light layer on there. Then uh, see how it goes. Let that sit for a minute and then we'll come back and uh, do some more. So I know the color I picked isn't super flashy, but in terms of OEM Plus, I think this was the perfect color for the job because that looks pretty good. So I did the first layer, a second layer, and then the third layer is this one. I put on kind of thick to kind of cover up as much as I could of like, you know, the porous texture, but honestly, like that came out pretty good. And again, the gray, with the blue, it's just a super solid color combo. Not too bad. So I know I just said it, but I have to say it again. The metallic charcoal gray was 1000% the move. This came out so good. Look at that. Just that little OEM plus, nice and shiny in there. Woo! That looks too good compared to what it came from. That hideous looking thing in there to now just that nice spicy little charcoal gray. Little touches. Doesn't need to be too bright and flashy, but that adds a perfect touch to the car. All right, moving on to the front, give you a better look at our front caliper here, which honestly, aside from needing paint, the front calipers really aren't in bad shape. You usually gotta go through with a wire brush and clean a bunch of stuff off there. These ones are actually pretty clean, so just some paint and back in business. So the color in the shade looks really, really good. But then the color in the sun just looks incredible. Definitely the perfect color choice, I think, for this car. The driver's side of the Passat is officially done and I love it. Now I will say 99% of people won't notice at all. It's not a bright flashy color, but to me that OEM plus, that little touch, it's always the little details for me. That's just what makes it so good and it's just, whew. I said even from here, you can't really tell them I and I can see it, but it's just that little touch that the calipers don't look like massive eyesores anymore and they're uh, nice and painted. Yeah, love it. Calipers just casually peeking through. Such a nice touch. Yep, I'm a fan. So it's currently a little toasty here in North Dakota and normally, normally I would complain about the heat, but in this instance, I'm just soaking it up. Cause I know in a handful of months when it's negative 20, 30 and like an Arctic tundra out here, I'm gonna miss this. So this is a new me. This is me, it's almost 100 degrees, it's hot in this car, but I'm not complaining. I am enjoying the sunshine, I'm enjoying the heat. I'm not taking it for granted ever again. All right, so got the car spun around and now we can do the passenger side. Look at that. Just so ugly. Crusty calipers do us no justice. Crusty. Also this crusty wheel. I had to get some, uh, some better cleaner and get all that stuff out of there. But for now, we'll just do the caliper. All right, caliper number three before shot. And just like that, caliper number three after. All right, my friends, so this is it. Fourth and final caliper. 
that we're done. The Passat is officially done. Got the nice golden hour coming in. Also, all the cars are out of the driveway because we're doing some cleaning in the garage currently, so just out of the way. But I'm hyped on how well these coppers came out. Such a subtle color, but really nice. The OEM Plus, of course, that spokes right in the way, but still, you get the picture. So much better. We got one. We got two, and we got number three. This car's low, this car's low, and, and filthy. <sighs> I really wanna lower that car, but it, it just needs to be the winter beater. Not to lower it, no wheels for it, but it would look so good low with wheels. <sighs> Must not, must leave stock height. Tomorrow is going to be a serious wash day for the wagon. And I'm hoping that comes off because it's just like plastered on there. <sighs> 11 hours of driving and back roads and just absolutely destroyed the front of the poor wagon. Tomorrow we shall wash the car for sure. You know, I'm curious. So that Jetta we saw earlier today, since no one knows whose car it was, I wonder if anyone would care if I just rented a truck and trailer and towed it out of there. Now granted the car was unlocked, which is a good thing, but I didn't see a key and that could be a huge issue, but if it rained, that'd be sick. TDI five-speed Jetta would just be dope. Not that we need any more cars, but like it's just sitting there. But like I said, granted, the second I went over there and he did anything with it, someone's gonna show up and be like, hey, that's my car, I'm gonna fix it at some point, and you know the story. But it would be kind of cool to have a TDI five-speed Jetta. Again, don't need any more cars, but would be kind of cool. Leave some comments down below. What do you guys think of the new color? for the Passat brake calipers. I think it's the perfect OEM Plus color. Silver would've been good as well, and even like a metallic black would've been sick. Um, yellow would've been cool, but I think ultimately, because AutoZone only had this color in stock, I think the metallic gray looks really, really good with the blue, and it's a nice touch for the car. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.